To help you prepare your print-on-demand stores for 2023, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this t-shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. So jumping into Illustrator, the first thing we need to do to create this design is actually making a sunset. To do that, head over to your toolbar and select the ellipse tool. You can also click L on your keyboard to access that. And make sure you've got a white fill selected and no stroke. Then draw this circle out while holding down Alt and Shift on your keyboard and let go once you're ready. Then we want to create some thin lines to go across this circle. And for that, we need the rectangle tool, which you can also access by hitting M on your keyboard. Once you've selected that, change your fill color from white to black and just start drawing out a thin box across the top of this circle like that. Don't make the lines too thick. And once you've dropped that, just hover over the box itself, then hold down Alt on your keyboard that your mouse cursor changes to black and white ones right there, and then drag downwards, then hold Shift so it stays aligned to your other box, and leave the gap about the same size as this top section of the circle is, and then let go, and just click Control D on your keyboard multiple times. You don't need to cover the whole circle because the sunset is obviously just like part of the circle. Once you've done that, select all of your objects on the artboard, head over to the Pathfinder window, and click minus front. And that's now taken all of those lines out of a circle, and erase them from the vector. Now I'm going to use the direct selection tool to select this bottom part of our circle and delete it because we no longer need that on our design. Now it's about time to actually add a silhouette onto this sunset. And because the goal is to create a retirement design, it would be quite suitable in my opinion to add some sort of palm trees and a bit of an island or holiday vibe and because that's very suitable for retirement t-shirt designs. And I'm going to use a pre-made graphic here which I found on Creative Fabrica. It's a really nice set on there with the perfect sort of graphics for this topic. So I will leave a link to that set in the description down below so you can follow along. You can typically join Creative Fabrica for free for one month. So once you've dragged that into your main design file, you're going to want to adjust it so it covers quite a bit of your sunset. I like to line up a big chunky part of the graphic like this bit here at the bottom with one of the lines right there. I think that looks quite nice. Yeah, you want to try and have this quite big on the sunset so it stands out. Once you're happy with the size of it, just select the palm tree graphic itself, then hold down shift, click on the sunset in the background, click on it again, and then you want to tick horizontal align center because then it's going to align graphic in the foreground with the sunset right there and perfectly center it on there to make sure it's not like wonky off to the side or whatever. Right, once that's done, we now want to cut out our silhouette from the sunset because at the moment it would print black on top of it. And to do that very quickly, we can first of all make sure that the sunset is grouped, it should be, but in case it isn't, select all of these elements and hit Control G. And once you've done that, select both the silhouette and your sunset, head over to the transparency window and tick Make Mask. That's first of all going to turn your screen black, but if you hit Clip, right here, you should see the sunset reappearing. And if we now draw this over across the artboard, you can see that now the gray background shines through. Just a tip, just in case you still want to sort of move around the palm trees now, it's not as easy anymore. You can't just click on them and move them. You're going to have to use the transparency window once again, but change it from this box to this box. Just click onto that and now you can sort of move this silhouette around, just always remember to click back on the white box afterwards so you can once again edit all of your other design elements. So the next step is going to be adding some text to our design. I want to add retired teacher 2023. It's always quite handy with these sort of sunset designs to have a bit of the text arched along the top and then the rest of it along the bottom. To do that, starting off with the top bit of text, we need the ellipse tool. Once again, just draw out a circle on the artboard right there, change it from a fill to a stroke. You might want to turn up the stroke width a little bit so we can see what's going on. The goal here is to now align this circle with our sunset. So the first step to that is selecting the circle itself, clicking on the sunset while holding down shift, then click on it once again 
once you've let go of shift. That makes it the key object that we're aligning stuff to. And then once you hit horizontally aligned center, it's going to place or your stroked out circle over this sunset centrally. Then you can move it up and down. It might be helpful actually to change the color of this. Let's change it to red. And then you can see it's not correctly aligned yet. Drag it up a bit right there. Still not perfect. Let's be dragged up a bit better. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Now we just need to make it a tiny bit better. So while having this circle selected, hold down Alt, then click and drag and hold down Shift. That way it's going to size it bigger. We want it to look somewhat like this. And then you can place type onto this circle and have it arched along the top. So select the type tool by hitting T on your keyboard over this red circle, hold down Alt, and you're going to see the symbol change of the type tool right there. And make sure to sort of hit this top anchor point on your circle, that blue one right there. You want to click on that while holding down Alt, and then you can change the fill color right here to white. And it's going to be handy to make our text a bit bigger so we can see what's going on and align it to center. And now, if we hit T, click on this text or double click, let's write retired. So we can see where our text is actually aligned to at the moment. And for some reason it's changed back to align left. So click align center, that flips it down to the bottom. And I like to just rotate this by 180 degrees to get this back to the top. So there we go, we've got our first piece of text retired. It is perfectly aligned to the curve of this sunset. So here we go. I mean, it's a bit of faff doing this, but once you've done it once, you can quickly use this template for other designs as well. You don't have to do it from scratch every single time. Default font is obviously quite ugly. So we're going to select chunk five, regular i quite like this one the print version which has a bit of a texture and it's a free font as well which i'm going to leave a link to in the description so there we've got retired um, now we want to also add teacher below this so use the type tool once again just click underneath the sunset change this color to white and we're going to use another free font for this good brush change this from Laura Mipsum to teacher. There we go. I'm going to size this up so it matches the width of the sunset better like this and duplicate this down by holding down alt dragging and holding shift as well so it stays aligned. And then we can change this piece of text to 2023. Very nice. Now I do usually like to fill out gaps like this. I don't want to, well you could, you could make this text a lot bigger, but I want actually I want the word teacher to not be overpowered by the word 2023 because this is aimed at teachers mainly this design. So we're going to leave 2023 at this size and just fill out this space to either side a little bit. Quick tip right here is just using the star tool. You can always easily add a couple of stars to fill out space. It usually looks really nice and it doesn't take a lot of effort. So here we go, retired teacher 2023. It looks quite decent except for the color or the colors. And that's what we're going to do next. So here is a quick color scheme that I've created for this design. So just in case you're wondering how I created it, I am going to upload a video very soon where I walk you through how I go about creating color schemes from scratch. I didn't copy this one from another design. I just did it in Illustrator myself. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that future video about creating color schemes. This one I think is very nice, could work for both men and women who are getting retired. So it's fairly gender neutral. It has a very nice sort of vacation feel to it. I'm going to make the words retired and teacher colored in the lightest shade of this sort of beige, just because I want those words to stand out. If you wanted to make it this darker green, for example, I'm like, yeah, it looks nice. I do think that looks quite pleasing, but it's not going to stand out as much. And since this design is for a retired teacher, we do need those words to definitely stand out. If you want to get more sales with your text-based t-shirt designs, then make sure to check out this video next, where I show you five different ways to improve them. Thank you.